Welcome to the Airbox Clarity Walkthrough. I'm just going to show you today how to plan a route from your current position here at Grove uh, to an airfield and for all intents and purposes I'm going to fly to Benson and I'm going to route around to the north of Didcot Power Station. Um, there's two ways we can do this today. I can now move the map with my fingers like this to reveal Benson on the, uh, on the chart. Um, if I press on Benson and hold like this, up comes a context menu. I can simply press navigate here and the system will then work out a route direct to Benson. As you can see it's produced the extended runway centre lines. Um, top right of the screen you'll see that there's an airspace warning that's flashing. That's because we're currently in an airspace um, which is a, a micro light field to the west of us here. Now if I move back to our current position um, you'll see all the buttons disappear as I, uh, as I move around the map. I can also tap in any position, any uh, direction that I want to go like this and back again. So you'll find now that the new system is very, very uh, versatile and easy to navigate around. So we've got Didcot Power Station here, as you can see, and you recognize that from the CAA charts. I want to um, create a waypoint to the north of that. So I literally press my finger on the screen and press Insert Waypoint. And it's as easy as that. And if I was to fly this route, I would then select the first leg of the, uh, of the route, and away we go. And when I hit the first waypoint, would then activate the second route of the, of, the, uh, of the journey. All clarities and foresights come preloaded with the Pooley's uh, digital flight guide. And this is since we were flying to Benson. Now I want to see what Benson's all about. So I'm going to pan over to Benson like this, press my finger on Benson, bring up the uh, context menu, and we've got an approach plates button here. Press that. And what it'll do is bring up the Pooley's guide and then have a look at that. That's geo-reference as well, so actually if you flew in and had that activated, you could actually fly into uh, the Pooley's Guide. I'm also going to plan the same route, but through a slightly different method, and this here's how we do it. Hit the menu button, I've got some options here. One of them is Plan Flight, so we're going to press Plan Flight, and from our current position. Now, we want to select the end waypoint, in this case it was Benson, so I'll hit Airfield, and then we've got to find Benson from the database, and we've got the UK database loaded into the system at the moment. I don't know the ICO identifier for Benson, so what I'm going to do is actually write in the name Benson. So I'll select the beginning here, and there's no way to delete it apart from double clicking on here, and then I can write in Benson. So B, E, that's going to give me some options there. If I press here, I can then scroll down and have a look. Oh, there's Benson. Right, we press Benson. Select it, confirm selection. So now I've created a route to Benson. It says add an intermediate way, waypoint. Well, I want to do that manually on the map. So I'm going to say no. The system will then work out a route to Benson. And then as before, I can then add that waypoint that routes us around to the north of Didcot Power Station. Insert waypoint. And it's as easy as that.